Sometimes you can't even believe some of the stuff you're reading in the news. And it is. We were born for a time such as this. And our eyes sometimes want to pop when we see what's happening around us. And all the more reason to be a generation of prayer warriors dressed in the armor of God and facing the world squarely and shining Jesus' light and making a difference. A pastor was criminally charged for helping the homeless. The Christian pastor reportedly facing criminal charges for violating zoning laws is refusing to back down from keeping his doors open to help the poor and others in his community. Pastor Chris Abel is facing 18 criminal charges for violating the city's zoning laws. The city is going after him because earlier this year, Pastor Chris opened the church 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. He's seeking to serve homeless people. Now, before I even carry on, McDonald's, Kentucky, all these restaurants, uh, Burger King, they can be open 24 hours a day. They can have people coming and going regardless of who they are, homeless, not homeless, anybody. And they just serve them, no problem, 100%. But forbid you to go and help the homeless in a church building for 24 hours a day. The statement continued, in November 2023, the city sent a letter ordering the church to stop allowing overnight guests or face criminal prosecution. Police actually showed up at the church, handed the pastor a packet of multiple charges and violations. Regardless, he said, the results of Dad's Place being open 24-7 have been deeply encouraging. We've seen many who, if we were not open 24 hours come to faith in Christ Jesus. We're a church, that's our thing, it's paramount. Abel said he believes people's lives have been enriched, adding that everyone who walks through the doors of the church walks out a better citizen. Fact. Now the enemy sees, wait a minute, this church is open 24 hours a day. People are not despairing, they're turning to Jesus, they're becoming saved. We should put a stop to this. Let's send the police. Let's just shut them down. It's not like it's a Burger King that's essential to the environment. Evil days that are happening all around us. Pray for this pastor and this church and lift them up before the Lord for doing such a brilliant work and that he can stand in the midst of this adversity coming against him. Shalom.